Let's talk about, again, something very uh, spectacular. Um, we know that the, that the concept of, of using uh, survey data in your CAD <coughs> is, is a very hot issue. It's, it's, uh, it's very important to know how you can use the data that you gathered on site in, in your software. There are many, many different yeah. solutions for that. One, one of the approaches that I really like is, is these laser scanners, uh, mm -hmm. which, which are really out there. And that's, these are, I would say, the most powerful ways to get uh, data into your, into your software. But now, the problem is that how do you get the data into, the, into your software? Before <coughs> I, uh, I show you how that works, let's talk about laser scanning, because um, this might be a new topic for, for some of you. On the screen, you see two examples for these uh, laser scanners. These are basically uh, gadgets on tripods, which are turning on, on two axes, basically. You actually showed me one in life where you had this. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. actually, yeah, I did. So this, this gadget is turning around and, and shooting uh, millions of laser dots uh, around itself. And the software, what's running in the, the gadget, estimates how far the different points are in relation to this to this station and then the end result is a so-called point cloud which you can read into different software products mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now uh, currently Arshine is able to import two different point cloud formats one is called e57 yeah. and that's an unprocessed uh, point cloud so that's that's basically what's coming straight from the machine and the other one is an obj format basically an object like a 3d model mm -hmm. that has been processed what I'm going so the to first, sorry, the first, the first mostly looks like like literally points in the three. Yes, right? that that mm -hmm. should look like. Uh, to be honest, it looks like uh, a pile of mashed potatoes because it's an uneven surface, uh -huh. and that's an unprocessed uh, uh -huh. the file which you need to process somehow. Now the the example what I'm going to show now is is a file that had been gathered by a device made by the U.S. company Matterport. In fact, the file that I'm going to show you now was given to us by their courtesy. So, what so that we, will be the OBJ file. That, that mm -hmm. will be the OBJ file. So what we see now mm -hmm. here is the OBJ file. So don't forget, this is not the file that comes from the laser scanner. This has been processed before. Mm -hmm. uh, but since this is a, this is a, oh yes, that's a very different, uh, very important point. Uh, most laser scanners don't gather colored data. Some mm -hmm. of them are. But the reason I'm using this OBJ because this is already colored, so you see yeah, what's going on. Yeah, it's pretty much colored, yeah. <laughs> now, you can move around so you can see that this is not a static background. This is actually a 3D space in which you can navigate. I, I set up some views so we can take a look around this, this loft apartment and see what's going on. You see that, uh, you see the 3D space um, and What everything... are these holes or there? Uh... Oh, the holes are actually the things that the camera didn't see. Ah, okay, so, so these are the things that were in, in a shadow. That's, again, um, we are a software company, we are not hardware manufacturers, mm -hmm. so we don't really know how these issues could be solved. But one, one problem currently with laser scanning, uh, if, I, if I may say, is mm -hmm. that if things are hidden, they are not going to be captured. Mm -hmm. Some software try to estimate how things look like behind objects. But again, the, I, I would say that well, there's still some development to yeah, be done. This is still be much better than me, me and my pencil and well, the, that's and the right. paper. Uh, another yeah. thing, what is still uh, still <laughs> an issue with these gadgets is that you have to manually like pick them up, move them somewhere else. So they mm -hmm. are not going to do the legwork on your behalf. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but back to softwares because that's what we we know about. So let let me go back to this to this view where I can ex actually see this doorway and um, let's see how I can actually use this data. Because one very important thing I have to know here is that uh, currently Arshtan is able to recognize the corner points, but it's not making any distinction, distinction between walls and columns. So mm -hmm. you are not able to get, generate a beam data from this very model. However, you can... And of course, you cannot remove parts of this model. You cannot, move, uh, you cannot remove parts at, the, at this point. Mm -hmm. What you can do, on the other hand, is you are able to extend your model with Archline uh, elements. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, you can add an extra wall here, and by clicking on this wall, you can modify its height, and when I modify the height, I recognize other points here. So, I would say that this speeds yeah. up my work a little bit, so if I want to add extra elements to this very uh, building, I can do that. Now, I know for a fact that we have a very similar color in our uh, color library. Let me just... It's rusty uh, gray, yeah. I think it's rusty gray. I think that should, should look good. Some might argue that that's the best choice, but then again, that's yeah, well, actually important. you can create your own colors. Yes, right? you can. You can create, and you can uh, you can download your own colors for, uh, into the software. Yeah. Now, also you can see in the two D that the Archline wall appears. Mm -hmm. So let me just. So yeah, you see uh -huh. that now this element is on our client wall while the rest is not. So that's actually it's a, it's a background. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, let me put in a, a door here. 
I just first have to activate the 3D window. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's easier to, to work here. Okay, I added a door here. I'm not completely satisfied with the opening direction. I'm just going to modify that quickly. Uh -huh. And by opening the door, I see a very important thing that I can actually look through the window, uh, the door. And so if I, mm -hmm. if I open it, I can, I can look through. Again, I would say <laughs> that this is a good method to get a background for your, for your survey. Um, again, we also import the E57. That's a little bit less spectacular because it's not a colorful image such as we, we see here. But um, again, that's another way to get data yeah. into, your, into your software to sort of work with real life environmental uh, and well, features. Actually, if there is only a few things that you would like to visualize, then it's, it's, it's much faster than remote all the whole thing, yeah. Yes, and that again takes us a little bit, <coughs> little bit closer, I would say, to virtual staging, which, mm -hmm. again, and which is again another industry which is very keen on using software and hardware products. It's mm -hmm. just something to look out for.